Hi, I'm Mark Cook with Twisted Throttle. Now you're probably pretty familiar with the Denali CAN Smart Accessory Controller. It uses a CAN bus system on your BMW to control accessories such as high intensity LED lighting, a powerful horn, and a modulated brake light. Because it's a software driven device, it's possible to add features without changing any of the hardware. And a good example of that is a recent change to allow so-called two-wire dimming on all CAN Smart modules. Let's back up a step and explain what we're talking about here. The current Denali 2.0 system uses three-wire dimming, meaning that two of the three wires going to each light pod are power and ground, with the third wire containing a dimming signal from the CAN Smart. Now the Denali light pods themselves interpret the data on this line and adjust the brightness accordingly. It's a sophisticated, stable way to dim powerful lights. But other lights, including some of the previous Denali pods, didn't have the third wire, so they could not be dimmed by the current CAN Smart. They would work, but they were either on or off. Not any longer. With a software update and a change in configuration found in the setup software, you can have the CAN Smart dim any kind of light you would like to install, even these cheap Amazon specials. Now, setup is easy. You select the two wire dimming option from the software menu and wire the lights to the CAN Smart using red for positive and black for negative. You're not going to use the yellow wire, so clip it off or secure it somewhere so it won't get in the way. Now the CAN Smart will operate the same as ever, turning the lights on and off using the turn signal cancel switch, and then the dimming can be controlled by using the wonder wheel. One last thing before we go. It's not possible to test every light out there, so there's a chance that some lights will have flickering at low intensity levels. This is one of the shortcomings of two-wire dimming. And that's it. For more on the CAN Smart, check out our full installation and review video, or visit our website at twistedthrottle.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and give us your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest news and information. Thanks for watching.